New at six, the future could soon make its way to the Queen City. This week, a company called Cruise is testing its self-driving taxis in Charlotte. Although the company says the cars you're seeing in the Queen City aren't driverless yet, people are already reporting some concerning encounters, apparently. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman is in Uptown Live for us this evening. Julia, what have drivers been seeing here? Hey, Colin. Yeah, so Cruise is primarily testing their cars in the Uptown area. One person says they saw one parked in the middle of the street and someone else caught a close encounter on video. This video on X, formerly known as Twitter, shows a cruise taxi merging onto Independence Boulevard as another driver swerves around it. Cruise started testing its self-driving cars in Charlotte Tuesday. They're being spotted around town and drivers like Malia Cook are excited. I think that's very cool. While some may be worried about the AI driven cars, Cook thinks they're a good thing. I think it would be actually way safer because you got to think about it. Nobody's in the car. So with Uber, you have to think about it. Is they're safe? Are they going to hurt me? You know, can they do something to me? A cruise spokesperson tells me the cars have 40 sensors on them. While testing, drivers are behind the wheel so they can collect data on Charlotte roads and driving habits. We have impatient drivers, people who cut folks off. You know, once you have a, a high percentage of machine driving, you will see less of that. Kevin Lacey with NCDOT says driverless cars are the way of the future, reducing the risk on roads. The machines also will have a much faster reaction time. Uh, they they don't get distracted. Cruise already has driverless taxis in San Francisco, Phoenix and Austin. Issues have been reported, like Why this video showing a vehicle doing? driving in Austin's bike lanes. And those machines are designed are designed to minimize risk. So uh, so when people see these cars, whether they're walking, biking, uh, driving, uh, you know, treat them like any other car. A cruise spokesperson tells me they're looking into that video that was posted online. She says they're taking their time with safety testing, so they don't have a set timeline of when crews will come online in the Queen City. Live in Uptown, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.